35 to 40. GFW to left neck. BP is 90, 60, pulse 120. Respiration 16. He is responsive to verbal command. Venus or arterial? It's uh, Venus, but he's lost a lot of blood. Very good, sir. I think he won the golden prize here. It is Venus. Okay, he's got a good airway, no strider. I'll tell you what, this is looking awfully familiar. Yeah, I can feel the exit wound. Eyes ah, equal and reactive. All right, let's get him x rayed. Looks like another one of Newman's, huh? They really think Fax Newman killed those women. Fax Newman? Killed Frankie? No, I, I. No, I just don't. I don't believe that he could have done that. I, I know. It. it sounds unbelievable, but believe me, but apparently there is a large amount of evidence pointing to him. Starting with him being responsible, apparently, for the death of a patient in Chicago, and then him changing his name and forging his medical license. And the biggest piece of evidence that they found, the fibers in his car, Fax's car, match those found on the victims. Oh my God. I went out with the man. I had dinner with him. I, I, I laughed at his jokes. I let him buy ice cream I know, she only believed me. You're not alone. None of us had any idea. I just, I, you know, I wouldn't know. Oh, he's a fine doctor. He treated Josie when she was shot. Where, where, where is he? Do you know where he is? Well, they put an APB out, but so far they haven't found him. Josie's out there trying to find facts. You're sick. You know that you're a sick murderer. You killed Courtney and Frankie. They had to be removed. Frankie was the most wonderful person I ever knew, and you took her from me forever. I should kill you right now. Look at you. Gun in your hand makes you feel strong, doesn't it? But you're terrified of using it. You don't want to shoot me. In fact, I don't think you can shoot me. I think if I came over there right now, I could take that gun right out of your hands and you wouldn't even put up a fight. Don't test me, Newman. Don't test me! Back off! Ozzy! Ozzy, Ron, get out! The way your hand is shaking, little girl, you're gonna need lots and lots of help. Remember the medical report? Psychosomatic. The shaking's all in your head. You're cute, but you're one pathetic cop. How you feeling now, Officer Watts? Do you feel power? You're here. Shut up! Shut up! Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! Put your hands up! All right, all right, all right. Go! <laughs> ah, ah, who's the coward now? Remember that, um, that Santo Pietro case that you were working on, Ryan? And you tried to crack it for the longest time. Uh, Frankie was, was helping you with it, with what little evidence you had. But sometimes she'd get some sort of a, I don't know, vibe. And <laughs> you, you would go over there to review it with her. Or... OK, and you know how sometimes um, you would you would spend the whole night over there just talking about the case, I guess. Um, I was I was jealous. I was jealous of um, the time that you spent with her, and I envied her. I really envied her for getting to spend that time with you. It's just, you know, she was so smart and, and so completely capable. And I know you admired that in her. And I admired that in her, too. I really did. I uh, couldn't really blame either one of you for wanting to be each other's partners. It's just that I think sometimes I wanted to play, too. Sometimes. I have to be really honest and tell you that I almost, I wanted to be Frankie so that I could share with you what um, she got to share with you. I know how much you loved her. 
And I really can't believe she's gone. I just... I'm thinking that maybe she's where you are. And, um... In the two of you could be partners again. Uh, I really need to believe that because otherwise it is absolutely too much to bear losing both of you. So, uh, maybe you could help her. Um, if she's scared or if she doesn't understand, you know, if she's worried about Cass and Charlie. Maybe you could just have a laugh or something, the two of you. Um, you could uh, root for the Cubbies, you know? Hope they win the pennant again. Cass told me what she did for Frankie's memorial. When you had everybody read that passage from the Bible on the road together. Well, I just hope Frankie was listening. Sounds perfect. Yeah. Sounds exactly like what she would have wanted, and I thank you for taking care of everything. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome. I wish I could have been there. I know you do. I wish you had been there, too. I wish she wasn't gone. I know. I wish, I wish she wasn't gone. None of us do. Just everything feels like it's slipping away. I know. But you need to hang on. Mm -hmm. You're not alone. No. Right now, I know you're worried about Josie and where she is. Yes, I am. Have you heard no, anything? No, but I, I... I'm sure she's fine. She's probably right now in a squad car somewhere, or even back at headquarters. I'm sure you're right. Charlene, welcome back. I am so sorry it's under such sad circumstances. Would you excuse me? I'm going to try and find Cass. Okay? Okay. That's fine. Good night, Charlene. I'm going to walk you out. All Good right. Day. Please be careful. So who is this monster who killed her? Is it really Fax No. Ozzy! Ozzy! Ozzy, run! Yeah. Get out! I think Rita's gonna sleep well tonight, knowing that her son's gonna be okay. Mm. You think Victoria's all right? She left the party early. Well, yeah, I, th I think uh, there's nothing wrong with her than a little sleep won't cure. So uh, I think going home and going to bed was a good idea. That's also something that uh, that you should do. <laughs> 